Hey. Yes, I know. It's been a little while since I posted a video. Been kind of laying low. I think the world has just gone completely mad. So, is anyone else just sick and tired of the news? I mean, it is nothing but crap. It's just negative, awful, bad news. And it doesn't matter which outlet you choose to watch, whether it's MSNBC, CNN, Fox News. It's the same. You go to the website and it's just negative, 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 negative. You got to dig. You got to dig down to find the, the happy stories, the good stuff. It's exhausting. You, you actually have to dig. You have to look. You have to search to find a good story, a happy story. How sad is that? I mean, it's it's messed up. It's it's flipped around. It's upside down. These, I mean, yeah, these these stories are valid, you know, but why are we shining a light on those things when we should be focusing on? these positive stories, these happy things that are going on, the good things, and there are plenty of them. But, you know, these corporations, news outlets are corporations, they have to make money. Apparently, bad news draws views. But why is that? How did we get there? I just don't understand it. That's sad to me. Truly, deeply sad. So, been thinking about this thing and I I'm a happy dude I, I like to bring joy to others that's why I started this channel I want to make people laugh and smile and and bring happiness share my joy with others that's that's who I am and that's what I want to do I want to bring forth to you the viewer positive content so I'm gonna make it my mission to focus on these good news stories, things that deserve our attention. Yeah, it, it, you know, it could be one story, maybe maybe two stories, three stories, whatever. But, you know, my weekly video is going to focus on some form of positive, good thing that's going on out there. So let's call it the good news news. Yeah, that's right. I'm a genius. I just thought of that myself. The good news, news, and it, and it could be, it could be something that's personal to me as far as good news, or you know, it could be, I don't know, local news, Birmingham local news, somewhere, anywhere, small town USA, good news. But my intent is to shine a light on those things that really deserve attention. These things should. This this is what should be viral, not the crap, not the muck. Anybody agree? I hope you do. So, without further ado, all this being said, here's the good news news. It's the good news news. Is it pulling hard? Yeah! It's fighting me! <laughs> it's the first day of my whole life! Keep going, keep reeling. Keep the tip up in the air. How hard is this one fighting? Really hard. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. You gotta keep the line tight. I am. You just stop reeling. Keep reeling, okay? I was just scratching my head. Let me see how big this fish is. It's gonna jump. I think it's gonna jump soon. It's getting ready to jump, or it's getting ready to run. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. You gotta keep the line tight. Keep the line tight. There you go. Okay, pull up your tip. Pull up the tipper rod. Oh, it's real. It's gonna go. It's good. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh yeah, keep the tip up. Keep the here. Okay, very nice, very nice. Keep the tip up. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh, keep the tip. 
Oh gosh, keep the tip up, keep the tip up, keep the tip up. T oh my, this is another big fish. We got it, I got it, we got it. <laughs> Take the fish bath shower. What do you say? Amazing, amazing. Really? That was my fish. Let's get this thing on hook and let's uh, let you release this one. That's my first fish. That makes me cry. Here we go. Let's get the hook out. It's no, it's bigger than that. Okay, you ready? Hands out. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it like that. Beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Put it in the water. He's off. Boo yaka sha. High five. Fisherman's handshake. No point in washing your hand. You're just going to get it slimy with. Ugh. Hey, dude. High five. Boom. Amazing. Amazing. I told you this was a magical spot. Meet 13-year-old Marque Young and 14-year-old Joshua McCorkle. Young is a rising 8th grade student attending Alexander Graham Middle School, and McCorkle is a rising 9th grade student who will be attending Myers Park High School. The duo asked Joshua's dad to help them come up with a money-making venture, so they launched Quay and Jay's Cuts. They mow lawns and do yard maintenance. Their motto? You grow it, we mow it. They started with a couple of borrowed lawnmowers. After seeing the story on WSOC-TV, Lowe's Home Improvement North Lake wanted to get the Hidden Valley entrepreneurs new lawnmowers, leaf blowers, weed trimmers, and more accessories. Yeah, absolutely. Really excited to be involved here with Jay and Quay's Cuts. Uh, one of our assistant store managers, Dustin, was just scrolling on the internet and saw a great opportunity for Lowe's to jump in and support some young men who are doing some great things in the community. Um, they're out here cutting lawns, right? Uh, trying to raise money for bikes and other things here to do during the summer. And um, Lowe's here in North Lake just wanted to be a part of that. So really proud to be out here and be able to provide some lawnmowers, some weed blowers, a few other accessories, things to help them get started um, in order to, to, uh, to achieve the service that they're trying to do in their area. Quay and Jay's team also wanted to save up enough to purchase new bikes. When CMPD heard about their business startup, two officers from the community engagement team showed up with four new mountain bikes and helmets. No, I wasn't expecting this much. I was just expecting like two or three lawnmowers, but they just gave us a whole bunch of stuff. I think first it's good for them to know they got support, right? So um, the community supports them, uh, the retail outlets support them, and we want them getting out there and seeing just what hard work looks like and what you'll gain from doing such a thing, um, and for them to know we have their back. Uh, I think that's extremely important. With all that's going on here in the world, I think it's really good for you know those that can do. This was a successful community effort, so there's no doubt that these kids will achieve their goals and beyond.